Oh, here we are again now and it's like no time has passed Gazing out upon the sunset as it sinks into the night Many times it seemed as though a given day might be our last Face to face with certain death, it's somehow coming out alright I don't think that we have any cause to lament But there's quite a lot of thrilling intent Thrilling intent Thrilling intent, thrilling intent. He, uh, he, he smiles at you. Well, I think we should return to your friends. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to tell them about my new... Bread brain. ...understandings of the universe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it all of this becomes <laughs> oh yes of course <laughs> he he stops and actually extends a hand come on i'll help you up the stairs thanks so i think that there's a the, like marcus has got some poker chips out yeah, yeah nearly all of them are in front of marcus's dad cut out <laughs> <laughs> is this okay with everyone um, <laughs> yeah yeah uh, Mer- you see Mercy holding the cards close to her chest, just leans over. He's cheating. He has to be at this point. <laughs> he's not He's not cheating. He just has a perfect dead fish face so he can bluff with impunity. Okay. I'm all in, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Harlock isn't playing. <laughs> Marcus, uh, Marcus pushes in the remainder of his chips. <laughs> Mercy smiles at the concept of Marcus... Saying that to his father, calling him a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I see you got my joke. <laughs> Mercy would not repeat that word. She'll curse, but she won't go that far too often. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I know it's against the rules, but you know what? Maybe it's about time we use some tactics, coordination. <laughs> yeah, I just went all in. That's my tactic. I have a great fucking hand. You hear? You hear that, Dad? Your dad burns quietly. Ah. <laughs> Why don't you just throw him away? No, that's that would that would mean he wins. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> that's what he wants, I think. Nobody wins when they're garbage. <laughs> well, my actual dad does because it means that he got to me. I mean, he's he's he get- seems like he's getting to you right now. <laughs> yeah, she, mercy gestures to the the center of the pot. I mean, I think he's got you. He's not even yeah, here. Okay, he got you. point point taken. Look, I've got a I've got a fucking full house. Okay, <laughs> Marcus puts his cards down. You uh, you say that as Free and Gregor come back into the room. Oh, you. hello, Marcus's dad's cards fall over. A straight flush? What? <laughs> <laughs> Freya waves as he uh, enters the room. Hello. Oh, hello. Um, Welcome. I just got cleaned out by a cardboard cutout of my father. <laughs> well, it's... I invented new alchemy. <laughs> really? Did you give him the bread talk? That's I... so cool. <laughs> yes, I did provide What's your the... new alchemy? Bread talk. <laughs> uh, I probably shouldn't use it in... Well... How much do you care about this chair? It's already been injured. (sighs) Actually, I believe slicing the chair would be a fairly good illustration of exactly the point I taught you. Show me this new alchemy. Does this involve, like, how you were were able to cut that rock earlier? Yeah, and the chair is already a little broken, so that makes it even more cooked wrong. Wait, uh, aren't we all? Okay. Why is the chair cooked wrong what, what does bread have to do with this everything <laughs> gregor stares real hard and takes out his glaive and gently presses down on the seat of the chair and it just kind of goes right through and the two halves topple apart oh. <laughs> huh it hits the ground and marcus you can feel whatever enchantments or alchemy were running through this immediately dissipate so like i know it's not very impressive to no no that's cut a- wood with a big blade but but you barely touched it. And what's more, all all trace of enchantment and innate magic is just straight straight up gone. That's Harlock incredible. is kind of staring blankly at what just happened. Yeah, I kind of have a headache a little bit now, but um uh, <laughs> Yeah, that that's that's the bread brain for you. So I'm inferring that like you're 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 looking at the world as a a, a kitchen containing many loaves of bread, some of which are baked wrong, and which you have the power to notice and remedy? 
Yes. <laughs> Have you considered the name R- Risen Perception? <laughs> <laughs> Risen like, you know, like like how bread rises? Mm-hmm. Oh. I, you know what, no. Bread brain's much better. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also fun. What about fun, raisin bread? Sure. <laughs> That's Wait, also I, that one I get less, but still good. It's your, it's your choice. You, you made this. I mean, if you go with bread brain, it's the BB theory, which kind of has a nice ring to it. Hmm. Harlock is behind everybody. She's actually dumped a bunch of papers on the table and she's writing down a bunch of notes furiously. <laughs> like this just sparks something in her brain. <laughs> Gregor, that's amazing though. And does it is it tiring for you to use that? Do you feel okay after doing it? Um, it's it's actually kind of hard to look at things that way. What 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 is it like when you look at something that way? What's different? Um, basically A better world is overlaid on top of our world, and, you know, the better world really, really makes me feel queasy. Ooh, yeah, that that makes sense. It only happens when I really concentrate and try to see it, though. Right, so maybe not something to do all the time, right? No, no. Okay. What do you see when you look at people? Gregor stares intently, and his his eyes widen. Hmm. That that hurts, Gregor. That one hurts a lot. Oh no no no! You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it right now. I was just. I, I Marcus, was okay. You are so crusty. Oh no, I am. I don't even want to. Marcus like looks down at his hands, turns them around. I don't see it. But you've got a nice golden hue. Oh. But you are kind of quite cool. burnt. Cool. Mercy yeah, oh, leans over oh. to Faria. I bet you've got nice buns. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking flushes. He flushes Holy so shit. bad in the background. She just gives him a little. She just gives him a little hip check and smiles. <laughs> <laughs> Harlock is Harlock is kind of out of it, but she mutters to herself, "You ever like see your parents flirt?" <laughs> <laughs> No. You say to the cardboard cutout of Marcus's dad, <laughs> who now has every chip in front of him. <laughs> I mean, this is amazing, though. Maybe we should do more. Maybe we should experiment more with this, but not right now. After you've recovered some, right? Yeah, my body and mind are at the breaking points. That's not good. Yeah, let's get further away from that. But yeah. hey, this is exciting. Way to go. I'd I'd be genuinely curious, seeing as you can interact with magic in a very unique way, I'd be curious um, how you'd interact with something that I summon, because technically, it's it's very much still just a regular hammer or anvil, but with my abilities, I'm able to summon it to me, or I send it back. I would actually recommend caution with any enchantment that comes from your own person, and something which can dissolve it utterly. I... There's a, every chance that it would be completely harmless and not have any sort of untoward effect on you or your magic, but I would oh, hate if mm. something something bad were to happen or it were oh, to harm oh, you. Oh, right. I, I'm, I wanted to chop an anvil. I'm, I, I've got a couple anvils, and the thing is, is this, don't worry, the anvil doesn't, like, come from within or anything deep or magical. It just comes from my workshop in the house. Well, <laughs> yes, but you, you specifically transported it there and therefore it is indelibly tied to you in, in, in that way hmm I've got pretty good aim I'm not gonna hit mercy right but if if the anvil has a bearing of mercy's magical signature I'm I'm just saying that that might not that might not be something to start with then again I could be completely wrong I wanna I wanna focus in Harlock, what are you doing with those papers back there? Yeah, yeah, what's going um, yes, on over I there? Think, I think I'm I think everyone's probably getting interested in that by this yeah, point. Yeah, like Harlock, what what's going on? What are you writing about? She's scribbling like a madwoman because she kind of is just piecing together what Gregor was talking about about bread brains and regular brains <laughs> and the true world and her math problems and, and she crossed really thinks that she might have figured out uh, a solution for her problem. Oh, oh, please. Whoa. Like, okay, do you want to have your Eureka moment and then share? Uh, 
I think she'll try and show everybody, oh. but not in the middle of the house. Oh, understandable. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, are you writing a short story over there? What's going on? Ew, story, fiction, disgusting. <laughs> Ouch! Hey! <laughs> come on! Come to the lab, I need my arm. <laughs> Man, you know, I expect you to disapprove of me, Marcus said, says to his dad's cutout, but that just hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, I... Okay, you enjoy your winnings, asshole. <laughs> I'd hate to delay inspiration. Let's go. You, you what? Run back to the lab. Okay, so as you guys come back into the lab, Harlock is already, like, sprawled out on the floor like a kid playing with Legos. <laughs> nice. Um, she's uh, making some adjustments to the arm, and uh, she will ask Mercy, because the arm is heavy, <laughs> <laughs> to help her put it on. Oh, of course, too. I'd love to help. Here we go. Just be careful about the inside, mate. Yeah, did you scrape yeah. out all the meat? Did you get all that meat out? Uh, no, the meat's fine. Oh, It's the least of my problems. Is it? <laughs> uh, are you sure? Because if you want, I might be able to just superheat this and melt it away. Yeah, I say do that. Melt the meat. Oh. Yeah, if you melt the meat, it'll give me a baseline. All right, obviously this is your arm, so I want you to have the final say, but just a suggestion. So if you're fine with it, um, yeah, no, and, and Mercy's like, oh, actually, let me not be right next to you when I do this. <laughs> I, vote, I vote to melt the meat. Yeah. yeah, I have a bad history with fire. Uh, Mercy <laughs> looks, oh, no. makes sure to face completely the opposite direction, and you see that she mumbles the words again. Her arms glow super hot, and she... She, like, actually focuses, and you can actually feel the warmth radiating from her to the point where you can see the air changing temperature. Like, you know when, like, the really hot summer day and you see the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's, like, the, the uh, heat warping sort of effect happening yeah. a little. There's never, oh, like, straight so cool. up... There's never straight up fire, and um, finally, eventually, you can smell, like, burning meat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and she, like, mm. reaches inside and starts, like, yanking out... Bits and pieces, uh, obviously not Smells metal. distressingly like pork. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> just kind of slops it on the ground. I'll take care of that in a moment, but that is much cleaner than it was before. Ah, the other white meat. <laughs> no! 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 no. <laughs> All right, and uh, Harlock will kind of just direct Mercy and how to kind of slot it on and turn it, and it, as it kind of clicks into place and snaps into her nervous system, she can start moving it again. Thank yeah. you for humoring me, by the way, Mercy. Harlock? Oh, of course. Oh, this, by the way, Harlock, not to distract you, this design, ingenious, love it. Okay, go, keep going, girl, you're doing wonderful. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think I got this. So, I think what my problem was, is that as I was doing my alchemy, I was not factoring in the true world. That I huh. seem to be interacting with now. Oh, do you think Up that until this your, point, your, new, your new math is, uh, in, it's what, involved with this real world or like perfect world? I think what I'm saying is that my new math is the true math. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you've transcended the bread. So it's actually not <laughs> math two, it's math true. It's, <laughs> it's math true. <laughs> 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 to use the bread analogy... Whereas Gregor is the arbiter of what is and is not bread, mm -hmm. I believe I can rewrite the definition of bread. <laughs> that is terrifying. Please tell me more. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to change it to? All right, let's see. She reaches out and she says, this is normally the function for the grappling hook, in which my goal and my intention would be to reach across the room and pull myself there. Now... I am not sure how I will well, that's interact with it. kind of a with reverse the... grappling hook, don't you think? Well, yeah. But that, it's still a grappling hook. Okay, I guess. Specifics. Oh, let, Anyways. Let her do a thing, let her do a thing. Sorry, 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 semantics. It's, yeah, go, go for it. If my intention is to get across the room, I'm not sure how I will interact with, interact with the crust, as you called it, that separates us from this true world. But oh, I'm pretty I crusty, so I'm just going to take a step back. <laughs> stay away, crust boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. I mean that endearingly. Okay, but it sounded a little bit derogatory, is all. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're worrying about the wrong thing. Please proceed. <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> Anyways, she reaches out. Uh, and having adjusted the equation to factor in numbers from another dimension... <laughs> 
she is going to make her intentions known that she wants to reach across the room and she doesn't care how she does it. Okay. Huh. So, Harlock, you've you've readjusted the arm a bit, and you're using less less of that hard science and math and more of that intuition at this point. And when you when you hit the button, instead of like what you, what you would expect to be the way that you do this is it fly across the room in a straight line. Like a straight line is obviously the shortest distance between two points, and you're all about that efficiency. And as you adjusted this, this arm is still one. This is still something that you created quite some time ago. A lot of the mechanisms are not built up to snuff. This isn't something that you'd build today. So your your hand flies out, and instead of forging a normal path across the room, it zigzags and just arcs backwards at a bunch of odd angles. It goes where you Whoa. want, but... You see it happen, and the arm just changes course a few times in midair. So it's it's an ugly path, but it goes across the room and lands there, and you're like, oh, okay, back to old functionality again at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least I'm not teleporting. <laughs> huh. That's strangely poetic to steal a term from Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, you kind of got Marcus arms there. Waving around like spaghetti. Yeah. Why is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense, actually. I was about to get insulted, but... I was actually thinking it's more like a Marcus arm in that it is a thing of chaos. <laughs> okay, I'm not the only spaghetti-armed man out there. <laughs> <laughs> you, Harlock, you, you start to adjust to your math, too. And, like, <sighs> this will take an extensive amount of work and research, but, like... You're getting a little closer every step of the way. You're getting just a little bit closer. Harlock, that's amazing. I, the, and you were able to just figure that out? Like, as soon as Gregor mentioned the, the, the perfect world of perfect bread? Well, you described the bread, and normally I would actually do extensive research and dissect the matter, but um, something has changed, for better or worse. Mercy just claps. Wow. I'm so proud of all of you. You've made such stupendous progress today. This is wonderful. <laughs> yeah. How how do you both feel about that? Yeah, learning is fun. It is. Gregor, how do you feel about having learned about bread? <laughs> I I feel pretty good. I feel like this will help me slice bread even better now. Heck yeah. How about you, Harlock? How how are you feeling By about bread? I mean everything around me. Right. Oh yeah. Of course, everything is bread. We've we've definitely cleared that up. Um, Harlock, how do you feel about your new your new cool sequel to math and its relation to the bread world? <laughs> well, if you would have told me this morning that I would be basing a thesis upon the works of a Professor Gregor, uh, <laughs> I would not have believed you. A luminary in his field. <laughs> yes. It would appear as though the chaos of this group has begun to run off on me. <laughs> it has a way of, I'm sorry, it has a way of doing that. <laughs> I try and keep it to myself. I really do. It spreads like a virus. I know, I, I know. But also, wait, didn't we establish that it was probably Crowhenge that did this and not me? Yeah, but conceptually. I probably didn't <laughs> help, now that I think about it. <laughs> Faria, Faria just claps his hands together. Well, in both of your cases, I have a rather keen interest in writing down exactly your findings. However, if I keep you up all night, um... I feel I will be doing a disservice to the amount of progress that you just enabled me to make. Also, I believe uh, I would be, um, hmm, hmm, he stops and thinks. Hampering healing from serious wounds? Uh, yes, I would be asking too much of you to sit with me and allow me to take notes as much as that is exactly what I want to do. For he is clearly struggling with this. So, for now... For the first time ever, I will enable you to keep your secrets, and I will simply watch and smile and be appreciative of the fact that you've made major breakthroughs. And when this is all over, you will indulge me and enable me to thoroughly document everything you just discovered. Faria, you can you can take notes. Just don't just don't make big demands. It's been a big day. I understand, and I have been taking notes. Trust okay, me. Okay, keep taking notes. Trust me, if I had my way, we would be up all night, and I cannot... 
I can't properly. I mean, I'm going to be up all night. <laughs> no, not if I have anything, <laughs> anything to say about it. Oh. So even before I am a good alchemist, I will do my best to be a good host. Everyone, Thank please you. rest up for the remainder of the night. You have indulged me more than enough. You've been wonderful hosts, both of you. Thank you for taking us into your house. Of course. The couple smiles at you. Well, we are happy to help where we can. I mean, you folks have already done so much for Tannhauser and the Reforged Legion as it is. Um, and besides, she puts her arms around Faria. You have given him so much brain food, I have not seen him like this in quite some time. So thank you for that. Faria, while he is attempting to be gracious and is clearly held in this loving embrace, his eyes are still 100% fixed on you like a fucking death ray, like a, wow. what is your mm -hmm. deal? Internally. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel that stare, and it is literally the embrace of his loving wife and also a certain amount of studious and hostly pride that is <laughs> stopping him from stopping you and pride your brains open right at this moment. <laughs> Dear, you know what? Maybe this mm -hmm. is beneficial for you. If you mm -hmm. sleep on it, um, this will give you a chance to think of questions you might want to ask. More, uh, instead of rambling, you might lose your place, but now you can have a more coherent thought process. What a wonderful thought, Mercy. Yes. Listen to your wife, dude. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it to everyone else, and it bears repeating, no matter how many times I've said it to you. You are brilliant as well. <laughs> he, he pats you on the arm. Oh, dear, you, you're making me blush. You stop that. <laughs> and you, you see when Mercy blushes, she actually gets, like, heated up cheeks, and they smoke a bit. <laughs> and you crazy kids, go and make out or something. <laughs> Ew, gross, disgusting. I mean, that was my idea, but, like, <laughs> yeah, yes, I also request that you three restrict your activities as best you can to the lab for now. Um, oh, you need like the entire first floor for makeout. Okay, yeah, no. No, no, Have no, fun. no. It's not, <laughs> it's not like that. I... Have fun, la la la, not listening. That's actually quite impressive. <sighs> he, he sighs. Uh, can you assist me in getting blankets and pillows and maybe oh, a futon for them? <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. I don't need dear. any. You, Have you fun. all get Gregor some. <laughs> you all, you all split up, and you, you go on your various ways. Mercy and Faria uh, do bring down like sleeping supplies for you, and then absolutely leave you to your own devices to go make out. <laughs> <laughs> you three are set up around the lab oh, in your various forts, and uh, yeah, you're preparing to turn in for the night. Ah, oh, wow, quite a day, huh? Quite a day. Do you think it's possible for you to teach me the sequel to math? Sure. I'm not a good teacher, but... Oh, I'm not a good student. <laughs> <laughs> this will be my greatest challenge. And I don't actually care all that much, so the stakes are low. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Perhaps if you uh, proofread my work... Oh, hey, can you like I... teach me something? I don't give a fuck, but like I'll listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you don't understand. I, I do not, I do not require perfection from myself in learning this cool sequel to math. So therefore, the stakes for me are rather low. I think this is the coolest shit, and I'm highly invested in it. I, I think that if you, with your minimal amount of alchemic knowledge, proofread my notes, which will inherently be wrong, because they're coming from my broken brain. Right. I think you'll be able to pick up on some of the differences. Interesting. And in turn, teach yourself. I would actually love to try that. Uh, not, we don't need to start that right now, of course, but Good, I, I have uh, a cocktail of chemicals that will keep you up all night. We can get to work right no! now. <laughs> Stop right there, my friend. Um, we will do this another time soon. I happen to have a natural, uh, a natural drive to proofread that is quite strong, so uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll get to that in time. Oh. Hmm? And, uh, Marcus. Yes. Come over here and speak really quietly. <laughs> uh, okay, what, what's up, what, what are we speaking very quietly about? You shouldn't worry so loudly about Re Gregor. I shouldn't? No. I mean... But I'm worried about him. I know you are. 
I am too. Okay. But if I if he were to see that I was worried about him, then he'd worry about me, which would be bad, especially when he's busted up. That's not bad. That's normal. I know it's normal, but is it bad for you or is it bad for him? Is it bad for me? It's bad. For, it's bad for all. <laughs> okay. Um. How do I explain this? Gregor and I are wired a little bit differently. Well, sure. Bread brain. Right. Bread brain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> and uh. I think, at least speaking for myself, uh, the burden of emotion is worse than physical pain. So, hmm. if you kind of throw your emotions around all willy-nilly, I think that's the correct term. It is, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. If you do that, then you're, at, you're risking hurting him a little bit further. You have to be... I didn't realize. I Well, but... At the same time, just because, just because you're wired differently, do you think that that's a reason to try and avoid this entirely, or is it all the more reason to maybe get out of your comfort zone emotionally and grow some? I don't think that it's wrong for us to worry about him. Okay. I just think that instead of worrying about him to his face, you wrap him up in blankets and beat him to sleep so that he goes to sleep. <laughs> Okay, that took a that took a turn I really did not expect. Um, don't you think that beating him unconscious is probably more harmful than simply? In oh, that's barbaric. That's why I use drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, the point is, we I do really what we do for the right reason. You, uh, <laughs> man. I do not know how to respond to this. You're saying I should not worry about him, but I should drug him, and I. Mm. <laughs> Marcus, at the start of this conversation, you felt like you were making very significant progress. In fact, a lot of what she was saying was making a whole lot of sense back there in terms of like, oh, other people have special considerations. I should probably mm -hmm. think of the best way to register my own feelings to them in a way that helps them more directly. <laughs> and then came the hard left turn. Yeah, then the came a hard left <laughs> turn. Like, like, maybe the first part is absolutely something to learn from, like understanding how to relate mm -hmm. best to Gregor and expressing your feelings in a way that that yeah. is that is healthiest for both of you. Because you do both, you're, you have very different world considerations and you have different perceptions and all this other stuff. Then you get to the last part and it's like, Okay, I, yeah. I, I, mm. that last bit, maybe not that one. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> so, Harlock, here's what's up. I'm going to listen to the first part of what you said, because that was some great advice, and entirely disregard the end of this here. I will be proven right in the end. <laughs> I mean, we'll let, we'll, let the end we'll let the end decide that, right? <laughs> Thank right. you for this. For the first part of this. <laughs> You'll thank me for the second part later. I doubt it, but okay. <laughs> you break. <laughs> you break and go back to your companion. Hey, Gregor. I, uh, just wanted to say that I'm sorry for bugging you about armor stuff earlier. That wasn't really... I know that that's not needed or appreciated. Gregor has been asleep for the last ten minutes. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Could you help me cocoon him up real quick, Harlock? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Marcus grabs a whole big mass of blankets, sleeping bags, and, like, shawls, and starts wrapping them circularly around Gregor. Okay, you, okay. You perfectly cocoon Gregor up. Okay. Condemn him to the space below the table, and <laughs> which mm -hmm. we fill with pillows first. Which you <laughs> fill with pillows first, and you make sure that absolutely no drugs are added to the equation. Not a <laughs> single goddamn one. I was told I wasn't allowed to use it, and I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> uh, Marcus put leaves a little sign that says "absolutely no drugs," <laughs> given unwillingly. <laughs> that means you, Harlock. <laughs> This is still the sign. <laughs> I got that. Okay, I'm good. I'm the only one who can read here. <laughs> hey, I can read and so can Gregor. That's, that's rude. Yeah, I know. That joke doesn't work anymore. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> wow. Well. So I hope, do you feel a little better about your math weirdness now that there's maybe something of an explanation for it? 
I feel as though progress was made. Before that's, I was lost in an like, abyss yeah. of confusion and unknown. And uh-huh. I've got a little string on which to build the bridge on my way out. And, well, hell, if anybody can build a bridge off of a tiny string, it's gotta be you. No, I'm not very good at architecture, but thank you. Okay, you know, it's, this is metaphor, my, my dude. This is metaphor, and I'm trying to be nice <laughs> because you're very good at building things and figuring things out. Thanks, and you're, you're very good at... Um, the things I do, yes. ...making me feel better about the things that I'm feeling. Thank you. I like to support my friends when I can. Yes, you're good at it. Oh, that's really nice. I appreciate it. Just sometimes you need to take off the boxing gloves. Yeah. <laughs> wait, take off the... Wait, now, actually... Okay. Boxing gloves... Did, 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 did you know that boxing gloves actually make boxing more dangerous? The added weight makes the impact all the more, all, all the more damaging. I did. That's why you have to take them off. <laughs> wait, you want me to do damage? No, you'd be doing, you'd be doing damage to yourself in this case. I'm boxing myself? you're taking myself? the boxing gloves off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am so fucking confused. <laughs> Welcome to Math 2. <laughs> 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 <laughs>